Welcome. This is the third episode of my series, It's So Hot That. This is meant to be the antidote to all those silly videos where they report that a certain area is much colder than average or rainier than average or whatever to indicate that the earth is cooling, not warming. I've taken all the reports that they've ignored, i.e. the ones with high temperatures, and put them into a single video to show that, in fact, the globe is warming. Well, we'll start with the California area again, where they've had to declare an excessive heat emergency in parts of the Central Valley and Northern California. Temperatures are setting new records. And one climatologist remarked that this heat wave, remarkable power, size, and unusually early appearance is a cause for great concern. Well, Texas is in the news again. Its power grid has failed yet again. The freedom-loving Texans are discovering that their power company is able to control their AC settings if they have these smart meters and is turning them up. They've managed to design a power grid in Texas that does not work when it's hot or when it's cold. I wonder if they're going to patent that idea. Some unwelcome news from Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is likely to lose its World Heritage status. Rising ocean temperatures and agricultural runoff is causing increasing coral bleaching throughout the area. The claim is that the Australian government is not doing enough to preserve the reef, hence it's losing its status. Of course, the Australian government is denying this. We've had heavy monsoon rains in India, Bhutan and Nepal this last week. Higher temperature means that the air can hold more water. And so when it rains, it rains much harder. There are at least three reported dead. And there are also many missing after Cyclone Yas hit India. Well, South America is not immune either. Brazil is suffering from a major drought. Farms are running out of water, and this is threatening the coffee crop. So you can expect higher coffee prices later this year. Coffee may not be the only beverage hit by the high temperatures. Increasing temperatures and shifting rain patterns are threatening the tea production in Africa, India, and China. This could destroy the livelihood of millions of tea plantation workers across the two continents. Now you'd think places like uh, Moscow uh, would be immune from all of this, but they're not. Moscow has been hit with an unprecedented heat wave. Temperatures have exceeded 35 degrees centigrade. That's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Higher temperatures are forecast for the future. Recent forest fires and permafrost melting in Siberia have also been blamed on anthropogenic global warming. Most of the concern in the United States have been focused on the desert southwest. However, now the northwest is also under threat. Portland is likely to exceed 170 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the week and could go to 110, smashing the previous records. This has been called a dangerous and prolonged historic event. Currently, temperatures are 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit above normal, which is bad enough, but could go to 25 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit above average by the weekend. When you go to Helsinki, you usually have to pack warm weather gear, but the Helsinki has just suffered its hottest day ever recorded. Temperatures reached 32 degrees centigrade or 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Mexico, too, is having problems. A new all-time record was set for June in Mexico. Mexicali in Baja, California, reached a scorching 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 51.4 degrees centigrade. It just missed the all-time high record ever seen anywhere in Mexico at any time of year. South Africa is having problems too. It's winter there now officially, but with record high temperatures overnight, the nighttime minimum temperature was uh, 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees centigrade. Well, let's get an overview of all of this. In the last week, we've had nearly 2,700 new record highs compared with nearly 180 new record lows. That's a ratio of 15 to 1, and that's the highest ratio I've seen. Uh, the normal ratio is about 2 to 1, favoring high temperatures, not 15 to 1. The only conclusion one can come to is the Earth is still warming. So until next time, stay safe and goodbye.